in our RE lesson, we're going to be exploring how Christians try to use Jesus' words as a foundation for their living, okay? And we're going to look at that through prayer. So, first of all, we're going to, what are the foundations for living, okay? If we look at the book of Matthew, chapter 7, the wise and foolish builders, okay? This parable of the two builders teaches that Christians should build their lives on the words of Jesus, okay? So, I'm just going to summarise what it says here, okay? So, Jesus is telling people to listen to his advice, okay? He's saying that people should build a foundation, for their lives okay so take the man who built his house on the rock as an example okay his house didn't come crashing down whereas the man that built his house on the sand it came crashing down okay it was completely destroyed now the sermon on the mount uh, is where Jesus was on the side of a mountain and was teaching him about the major, major ideals of Christian life okay and he was teaching everybody about prayer, justice, care for, caring for the needy, okay, and much, much more, okay. And he was said, he, he said this to, to make it clear that his followers should live in a noticeably different way than other people because his followers should help be held to a much higher standard of conduct. Now, prayer is a way that people can apply Jesus' words, okay, and there are many different ways that people can pray, okay? So, for example, some pray at the same time every day. Some pray by themselves. Um, some pray silently. Some pray together and say the words out loud, okay? Um, some pray before they eat. And some people actually count their pr prayers, okay? Now, there are four common components to prayer, okay? So, the first one is praise. So, in in uh, people's prayers they praise God for his greatness and admit dependence on him admit their dependence on him okay then they, there's confession where they own up to a sin and they ask him for God's mercy and his forgiveness okay then we have asking so as well as asking for forgiveness they could ask God for God for something okay so for healing okay or courage or wisdom and last of all, we are thanking. So thanking God for his many blessings. So, for example, the health or children or at this point in time, the NHS for all the hard work that they're doing. OK, now, if we look at the Lord's Prayer, you can read it here. The Lord's Prayer is a prayer which Christians bless God and pray them for pray for the world, they ask God to meet their daily needs and ask for forgiveness for the wrongs they might have done. So asking God for their daily needs, okay, give us today our daily bread, okay, uh, asking for forgiveness, that our, forgive, forgive us our sins um, as we forgive those who sin against us, okay. Like, so if we go back to the... Sorry, if we go back to the Sermon on the Mount, so forgiveness not um, and not judging other people, okay? So that's part of the Sermon on the Mount, okay? Right, now your task, firstly, I want you to show the kind of things that guide people in deciding how to live, so the foundations for living, okay? Write them in a Venn diagram. You've, you've got an example on your um, home learning document according to whether you think they are helping in building foundations for anyone or foundations for Christians. Uh, Christians sorry. So some of these, I, I've actually given you um, some foundations for living and you can decide, but you can also add some that you think might could, could go in as well, okay? Some, some of the um, foundations that I've put down might not actually go into any of your um, circles, okay? Then, what I would like you to do is create a personal prayer about this difficult time, okay? So what you'll need to include is uh, so asking for something. So, for example, you could be asking for help for those in need, okay? Uh, thanking and also thanking. So you could be thanking your parents for helping you with your home learning, thanking NHS staff for uh, all their hard work that they're doing, thanking supermarket staff for keeping open the supermarkets for you to have your food, okay? Right, so off you go. Thank you.